In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium phosphate plus calcium chloride. So the first thing we do when we balance these equations, these net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. I've done that already here. If you need help balancing the molecular equation, there's a link in the description. After we have that balanced molecular equation, we can write the states. The ammonium compounds, they're very soluble, AQ. So ammonium phosphate, that's gonna be soluble. Calcium and then chlorides, very soluble. And then we have ammonium chloride, so that will be soluble. But then phosphates in general are insoluble, except for things like sodium phosphate, potassium phosphate, and ammonium phosphate. Calcium phosphate, that's gonna be insoluble, so it's not gonna dissolve. We're gonna write an S. This will be a solid. When these two substances react, falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have states now. At this point, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. The ammonium ion, this whole thing here, it's one you should remember, is one plus. The whole phosphate ion is three minus. So I have my ammonium ion here, three of them times two, six of those ammonium ions. I'll write the states later, two phosphate ions. Calcium's in group two, that has a two plus ionic charge, chloride ion, one minus three calcium ions. And then for the chloride ion, we have three times two. So we have six chloride ions. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have our ammonium ion here again, that's positive, chlorides are negative, six ammonium ions, just like in the reactants. Plus we have six chloride ions. And then for net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So that just stays calcium phosphate. This is all together here. And that's it. This is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants, we see our six ammonium ions. In the products, six ammonium ions. Those are gone. In the reactants, we also have six chloride ions which we see in the products. And that's it. This is the net ionic equation for ammonium phosphate plus calcium chloride. Let me clean it up. I'll write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for NH43PO4 plus CaCl2. You'll note that charge is conserved. I have two times three minus. That's six minus. Three times two plus is six plus. Six minus six plus adds up net charge of zero. This is a neutral compound, net charge of zero. The atoms, they're balanced as well. Often we'll see the positive ion here first, but it doesn't really matter. It's still the same equation. Just looks a little nicer, I guess. So that's it. That's the net ionic equation for ammonium phosphate plus calcium chloride. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.